kids. Today is such an exciting day because it's part one of our K-pop workout challenge. We're going to slim down our legs like beautiful, gorgeous, stunning Rosé from Blackpink and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And then without any further ado, let's get into it right away. Okay, whilst we watch this super cute clip of Rosé dancing, she's so adorable, I give you some time to make sure that you're in your workout gear that you're on your yoga mat, that you have some water with you, and that you are ready to go. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started right now. So our Queen Rosé says that she does a little Pilates to stay in shape, so that is exactly what we will be doing today. Butt up in the air, and then out, and all the way in. Extend your leg all the way in, so because she says that she's a fan of Pilates, all these exercises are Pilates inspired. And first and foremost, I wanna thank each and every one of you for the fact that you took time out of your day to do this workout with me. I hope that your intentions are clear today. I don't want you to work out for anybody else. You should work out because you want to be healthier, not because you care about what all the other people say. And I hope that if you're a fan of K-pop like me, if you love like pink, then that can give you some extra motivation. But of course, it's not necessary to compare ourselves to others. So even though Rosé is absolutely gorgeous, you have to remember you are gorgeous in your own way. Okay. That was it for the first exercise. Now on to bridge leg lifts. So for this one, exact same thing. Bridge, extend your leg, and up, and, and the way up is equally as important as the way down. Make sure that your butt stays in the air. And this is all about slow movements. You don't need to do this fast. You just need to do this right. So, beautiful. Keep that butt up. It's hard for me as well. But together we're pushing through. Come on. And whilst we're at it, I'm really curious what your favorite Blackpink song is. Mine is currently Whistle. And that was it, you guys. You have done a great job. So now on to side leg races. For this one, we're going to move to our side. We're going to lay down like this. Extend one leg. And we're going to do this beautiful leg races. Again, it's not about doing this fast, so take it slow. You also don't need to go super high. Just make sure that you move your leg. And like I said for the previous exercise, the way down is equally as important as the way up. So speaking about K-pop, I actually got the opportunity to see Blackpink live in concert in Amsterdam and it was the most magical experience. All the girls looked so amazing and it was right before Christmas time so we got to see them in their little Christmas outfits which was so incredibly cute. I love the experience. Let me know after you finish this workout, obviously, if you have ever seen them live. And that was it, guys. Now, moving into pulses. So, we are going to move our leg up, and then we're going to make tiny little movements like this. Tiny pulses, and I always say the tiniest movements make the biggest difference because it is true. Um, these pulses may look easy, but they are definitely hard, especially when doing them for one minute straight. 
like we are doing today. And by the way, if this workout is too challenging for you, um, you know, you can just take a break. There are no rules here. I'm already super proud of you that you are working out, that you are trying to get fit. So, you know, if you feel like this is too much for you, you know, you can pause the video, take a sip of water, you know, just do whatever makes you feel good. Just do whatever makes you comfortable because at the end of the day, you know, I feel like people are way too strict, uh, especially when it comes to working out. And I want this to be a fun experience and not torture, even though, you know, you are allowed to struggle. I am struggling right now as well, but you know, I hope that the talking helps a little bit and it helps time go by a little bit faster. So now on to the next one. And this time we're going to do another variation of the side leg lift. This one is going to be slightly more challenging because both our legs are off the ground. And ooh, this is the final exercise on this side. So go and give it your all. You got this. And whilst we are doing this exercise, I have a very exciting announcement to make. So obviously I have been creating lots of K-pop concert, not concerts, content um, on my channel and you know, also K-beauty routines and overall Korean fashion and Korean music and beauty has been quite a significant part of my channel. And now finally I'm going to South Korea. I'm going to actually visit Seoul and this is something that has been on my bucket list for a very long time. So expect lots of vlogs and yeah, I'm really excited. So I hope you guys are as well. And um, now we're going to do all these exercises with them on the other side. Starting off, of course, with the bridge. So yeah guys, um, so it is. If you have any tips or recommendations, places I need to go, let me know. I have to admit my schedule is pretty jam packed. Obviously it's not gonna be just a holiday. It's going to be a work trip for me. So I'm gonna meet up with a lot of clients that I have, um, brands that I partner up with here on this channel. But as some of you guys might also know, I also work for Coke Dive, which is a distributor of um, K-pop albums. And you know, it's an online web shop. And um, I'm gonna meet up with Jack, um, who you might know if you follow Coke Dive uh, on Secret Talk or Instagram. He's very present on there. So uh, yeah, and then besides that, I'm also gonna meet up with my friend Lynn. She has been living in Seoul ever since January, so I'm really, really excited to see her. Uh, and that was it for the bridge. Now we're gonna do our second bridge variation, the leg lifts. Okay, my lovelies, are you ready? But up in the air, and then up and down slowly. Come on. And keep that butt up in the air, keep the butt up in the air, keep the butt up in the air. Oh my gosh, who else is a 90s kid? Did that song even come out in the 90s? I have no idea. But you know, for those of you who don't know, it's um, put your hands up in the air. But this is my version, put your butt up in the air. Um, yeah, I'm such a good singer, guys. I could definitely be a K-pop idol, well, no. Obviously, I cannot. I'm like the worst singer in the world, but how fun would it be if you could actually sing? It's so incredible how you can let out emotions like that, and especially Rosé. I love her voice. Her with her guitar. She's so angelic. <sighs> we are done with this one. That was a hard one, guys. Okay, now we're going to move over to the other side and do our leg races. Get ready, get excited, and let's go, let's glow. It's been a long time since I said that, let's go, let's glow, but that used to be my catchphrase, you guys. 
Uh, please let me know how long you have been following my workouts for. I know some people have been following me since the beginning. Um, I started with workouts, I think, in 2017. So it's been a pretty long time, you guys. Uh, thank you for all your love and support. It genuinely means the world to me. Um, but yeah, if you have been following me for quite some time, you will know that I always do these type of Pilates exercises. And that is because they just work. I know a lot of people are into weightlifting and going to the gym, but I come from a modeling background. I used to be a full-time model. I lived in Paris, I lived in Cape Town. And you know, I've done my fair share of shoots and catwalks. And this is the type of workout that they recommend to models and apparently to K-pop idols. And these workouts will help you stay lean without bulking. So now we're going to do the pulses again. And pulses, like I said before, it's another exercise that is so amazing because it just works. And what's even better is that you can do this anywhere. Um, so if you have a spare moment and you're just, I don't know, watching Netflix, just grab your yoga mat, get on your floor. You don't even have to wear your workout clothes. Just, even if you're wearing your pajamas, I do that very often. Also, you know, right after I wake up or before I go to bed, I just do a couple of these leg raises, a couple of these pulses, and you're good to go. Like, it feels so productive. And even if you work out for five minutes a day, it is a workout. But having said that, I highly recommend you to actually follow my workout schedule and do this specific workout every single day for six days out of the week with Sunday being your rest day. And that was it. Now moving into almost the final exercise, guys. We're going to do these leg lifts. And you know, this always looks a little bit weird, but it is very challenging also because you have to engage your core. So definitely do that, engage your core, press into your mat with your hands for some stability. And if this is a little bit hard for you, you know, again, feel free to pause the video. There are no rules. Just wanted to reiterate that because it's very important for me that you guys feel at ease when doing my workouts. So after this, we only have one more exercise to go. It's so exciting, we're almost done, and you're doing such a good job. You're so strong, you're so powerful, and so beautiful, so keep it up. Don't give up now, you're almost there, we're almost at the finish line. Come on, guys. Three, and two, and one, and that is it. Okay, now guys, the final exercise. For this last one, you're going to move on over, lay down on your back, and then we're going to make these half moon circles. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. A slight bend in the knees is okay, but again, try to keep them straight. And we're going to give it our all because this is the final exercise. You've done such a great job so far. I'm incredibly proud of you. And now we're just imagining like this was a concert where Rose on stage and we're done and everybody's yelling and screaming our name. And this is our encore. This is our final song. You know, the audience is clapping and they all want to hear us scream and sing one last time. So we're going to try our hardest to make them proud. And three, and two, and one. And that is it. I hope you made yourself proud today. I'm going to scoot on over a little bit closer to you guys. Oh my gosh, that was quite the workout. I feel like my face is very red, but that means that it was a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I really hope that you're gonna stick to our workout plan, do this specific workout every single day for the upcoming six days. You can take a rest on Sunday, and then on Monday, I will be back especially for you guys 
with a brand new workout in this K-pop workout series. So I hope you guys are excited. Good luck with doing the workouts. You guys are amazing. I love y'all so, so much. Bye-bye.